In this video, we're going to look at a different way to create uh, uh, screen input components very quickly when you build uh, or when you work with screen flow. So let's learn this by uh, by just implementing a business use case. So the business use case that has been, you know, uh, uh, given to us uh, is there are two types of uh, two sets of users in our uh, org sales managers and sales operation team so yeah, they both are looking for an option on the home page very quickly to create a new prospect partner custom partners so here is the catch the sales manager should want should be able to configure onboarding check and contract status whereas the sales operation team should only have the read access to the fields so uh, this is how the setup is currently so if you go to the Good, the org, right? So there are two use, two set of users. Uh, one is John Doe and the one is uh, Amy Jackson. So John Doe is a sales operation team and uh, Amy Jackson is sales manager. So the two fields that is um, given in the, yeah, that's given in the, you know, uh, the use cases, this, you know, we have partner contract status. It's uh, one of the fields in the account object, yeah. So the partner hotel contract status, it is visible for all the profiles. However, for the sales operation team, it is marked as read only. Yeah, this is the FLS setting, right? Field level security. The same thing for uh, uh, same thing, you know, the onboarding check. So this is read only for the sales operation team. So which means today when the sales operation team member goes to Salesforce and then try to try to create a try to create an account, right? Uh, certainly, this these two fields, you know, will uh, will appear on the screen visible, but it will be read only for sales operation team correct now this is good you know as long as um, uh, as long as manually you know manually uh, the sales operation team goes to this uh, accounts and then clicks on you know new account uh, clicks on the new button yeah they will see the two but two or two you know fields uh, read only read only state right but but the ask is we're not going to let users to use this one right we're going to give a page a simplified enough page something like this correct so you can just see this this is for the quick set of a prospect customer which has this account name revenue and also you know onboarding check and partner contract status right so when you build this particular page two things we need to you know remember in mind one is how quickly i can create this page you know i can create this nice component right number one number two how do i how do i bring that fls settings back in my you know uh, back in my uh, screen flow correct so <clears throat> so this is what we're going to do it yeah so <clears throat> as an administrator right we're going to say this is certainly possible how is the question so let's go to, let's go to our org so this is my yeah this is my flow yeah this is my the screen flow and uh, you know it has a screen component right so if you just take a look at this all these you know fields right account name annual revenue the checkbox everything right i used the components list right in the screen component here yeah, on the left so drag and then drop yeah so drag and then drop and then you can just you know you can just uh, mention the field name and then leave it right but the problem with this is right uh, i need to explicitly handle how i would like this particular field right to appear based on the different uh, profiles so if i want to hide this particular field for uh, for partner operations team i can use this component visibility isn't it i can just set a condition saying that okay if the uh, if the uh, user the, the screen flow user or the user that is using the screen flow if the user belongs to sales partner or uh, partner operations team sales operations team then hide this box i can do that yeah but one thing is with this component visibility option right i can only able to um, i can able to only hide a particular particular field correct i cannot show a field i cannot you know make that field read only isn't it so so these are the problems right uh, i need to uh, i need to resolve correct so one easiest way to solve this is using record variables to build your flow screen component input uh, input fields so let's see how we can able to do that so before we before we uh, you know uh, get get this done so let me first test this okay so i'm going to log in as uh, amy jackson yeah i'm going to log in as amy jackson just to see 
and close the other tabs yeah so <clears throat> let me go to the home page yeah amy is a sales manager isn't it so when amy looks at this of course you know the two uh, the two fields are, uh, are visible and also you know, editable for amy let's try the same for john doe uh, who is a sales operations team member right so according to fls according to fls john doe uh, should not able to edit should not able to you know i can see john doe should not able to edit uh, the two fields let's see whether this works or not no isn't it so the fields are visible plus it is editable for john this is what we need to you know we need to change isn't it yeah because we wanted our sales our, our flow to honor the fls settings right yeah at the same time i wanted to build this flow right in a much much faster way yeah so let's see how we can able to do that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a yeah so i'm gonna go to my flow yeah i'll go and then click on new resource so what I can do is I can create a variable, yeah. So I'm gonna give variable name as uh, account record, yeah. So account record, uh, I can just choose the data type as record. So when I choose data type as record, Salesforce will ask me, okay, which object are you going to refer to? I'm just going to say it is the account object, yeah. So this variable will be used to uh, create fields on screen component yeah that's the that's what you know that's the purpose of this uh, new resource being created yeah so let's click on done so now what i'm gonna do is yeah i'm gonna create a new screen yeah so let's say uh, let's click on done okay let me get a label i'll just say uh, create prospect partner all right so First things first, I am not going to use the input, you know, input uh, fields right here and then drag and drop. I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to, you know, uh, drag and then drop text fields. Yeah. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is let me delete this. I'll go to fields. Yeah. And what I can do is I can just choose the record variable that I just created a few moments ago. So I'll just choose V underscore account record. And right here, it will show me all the fields, you know, from the account object. So the fields that are that are marked as required, you know, are going to appear right in this required field section, which means I cannot create any account record without account name, right? So I'll drag and then drop. You can just see this, right? Automatically, this is showing up. You can just see other information on the right, the object name, field name, API name, etc., etc. Yeah, and I need object, I need account name, I need revenue. So I'll just... Um, look for uh, oh yeah is object yeah is onboarding uh, check right so drag and then drop yeah and then uh, i need the partner status correct partner contract let's drag and then drop yeah all right so i simply dragged the fields and then dropped it on the page correct automatically things will start working for you so you don't have to configure you don't have to think about doing anything so this is how easy to easy for you to create you know very quickly the screen components yeah now done i'll go here and then i'll configure the footer i don't think i need a previous button and uh, instead of uh, next or finish i'm gonna say uh, save yeah that's the one and i'm gonna hide the I'm going to hide the pause button as well. Hide pause and then click on done. Cool. So I don't think this a screen is required, right? I, I, I just created that to show you, um, you know, to show you uh, the other way of creating a screen, you know, input fields in your screen component. Yeah. Now this is done. Let's click on save as. It creates a new version. And let's activate this. So now I did not do anything. I just simply used record variable and then placed, you know, the fields directly on the screen component, right? Now let's go and then check how, you know, how the, the screen flow will appear for Amy and John Doe. So let me go and then log in as Amy. All right, let's go to the home page. 
okay so i can see account name i can see the onboarding credit and also right i just dragged and then dropped the pick list right automatically the pick list with all the values are appearing i did not configure the pick list right when when i when i just dragged and then dropped the contract status isn't it so everything works perfectly fine for amy right she can now use this to create the partner right immediately or query quickly so let's log out let's log in as john doe and then compare this in his login so john doe you know he has the sales operation team profile right um, let me just re-log in all right i've just re-logged in as john doe you can see that on the top so let's go to the home page of john doe all right now you can just see this right um so john doe you know for john doe you know the 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 two um the two fields right are not visible correct which means the screen flow automatically right honors the honors the uh, fls settings correct yeah so this is an important thing that we need to remember when we build the screen flow so you have this guide i have given the description in the in the video below in the video so you can just take a look at this uh, to get this particular uh, particular you know article where you can just see the user context in which the flow runs so if you take screen flows when you build screen flows always set users you know the the current user that's launching the flow right as a as a context and then it will run based on the current user's context so in that in this case right as you have seen yeah when john doe logged in the screen flow just picked up login you know picked up uh, the the context of john doe then it automatically applied the fls settings FLS settings and that's the reason without you doing anything or anything uh, anything specific like compound visibility etc isn't it so you can just still see you, know, you can just still uh, you can just still see the flow automatically taking care of fls for you yeah so which is not the case for you know other triggers so if you go with record triggered flows right the default one is uh, you know the system context anyways we will just do a we will just look at that in a, in a different video but the key takeaway from this video is so when you build a screen flow right uh, the thing that we need to remember is the context in which the screen flow runs the default context is the user context yeah number one number two the easiest way to build a screen to build a, a screen component very quickly right uh, instead of just using the input set of fields available in the screen component we can create a record variable and then drag and then drop all the fields right when we do that point number three it is the the fls you know fls uh, the field level security is automatically taken care by the by the by the screen flow itself i don't have to do any additional configuration to hide or show you know uh, the fields on the screen so that's the you know that's that key takeaway from this video i hope this was helpful thank you